You know, Chris Levin is a fan favorite. He's a guy that people like to see win. Yeah. You had the job to go out there and beat him. How does that feel? You know what? Uh, there are a lot of people that wanted to see him win, but according to my Twitter, a lot of people want to see him lose as well. Yeah. So um, I think a lot of people were torn. I had a good time fighting him. I feel like I got really lucky with the opportunity. You know, main event, FX, huge name like Levin. Couldn't be happier. Were you surprised that it was a split decision? No. Uh, I thought the first two rounds could have gone either way. I thought I landed the more significant strikes, but, you know, he held me against the cage, got some foot stomps, like one of the only guys that does that hurts like crazy. So uh, first two rounds could have gone either way. I knew I won the third one. So uh, I was a little nervous, actually. And we all know how tough and durable he is, but when you're actually in there mixing it up with him, how does it feel? My hands, uh, my forearms, everything I hit him with hurts. So uh, I thought I had him done in the third round. He got back up, came after me. He goes in zombie mode. It's tough to stop him. You got to be interested in still, you know, take him down in the first round. Yeah. You had rocked him there. What did you think when you did rock him and you were swarming on him? Do you think that you were almost had that finish? Eve Levine, please break this thing up, man. I'm tired. Yeah. I thought I had it. I didn't. It sounded like you had old visions of Levin in your head. Like you recognized he was in zombie mode. You're like, oh, yeah, I've seen oh, this before. Absolutely, man. You know, how many fights did they have in the UFC? I've watched every single one of them. Um, before I was even, you know, into the sport, I was watching them fight. So uh, I did a lot. Of, I did my research, man. I studied, you know, diligently. I knew what, I knew what to expect. For you coming off of that loss to Honey Marks, I mean, coming into this fight, did that help motivate you really in preparation for this to get a win back? Yeah, absolutely. I never lost before since, you know, 2009, amateur, professional, you name it. So um, after losing to Marks, lit a fire, you know, I wanted a win. I like winning a lot more than losing. I like getting two checks more than one check. <laughs> I wanted that win. Let's talk about the check you got for the head kick that time. You did, you did get the knock out of the night for that, right? You know who got it? No. Main event man, Weidman. Oh. That elbow on Munoz. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty slick. You know, he slipped the right hand, threw an elbow, got the knockout. Got to give it to the main event guy, I guess. But still, knock, that knockout put you on the map. So, so now is that something that you feel like, ah, oh, geez, how am I ever going to get something this great again? Or is it something that you think I need to recreate? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, I like that combination. It doesn't work all the time. I go for it every single time I can, but uh, I haven't hit it, you know, again, in an actual fight since then. I hit it all the time in practice, but guys are going to be privy to that, you know. I didn't land one high kick on Levin. How surprised were you when he came out looking takedown right away? Uh, not very. Um, you know, he's at Alliance now. He's working with some world-class wrestlers. Phil Davis, Brandon Bear is a good wrestler. I know uh, um, a lot of good guys out there, and I think that as he, as he reinvents himself, he'll start to vary his game plan a little bit. You know, he was looking for a lot of that dirty box and a lot of the clinch stuff. He was looking for different takedowns. He usually does an outside leg trip that he was very successful with. He hit it on, you know, a guy like Munoz. A lot of people don't take down guys like Munoz. So um, I, was, I was waiting for pretty much anything. And it seemed like, uh, you know, when he goes and he does that, that Lieben typical, you know, foot stomps and then put his head down and kind of wade in there and throw left. I mean, yeah. when you see that stuff that you've seen on film, is it like a reassuring feeling? Like, okay, there's the guy I planned for? Yeah, absolutely. I was, uh, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, man, what if he comes out with all this, you know, Chris striking and, you know, totally different stuff? Because me and my coach Irish, you know, uh, on the pads, that's what we've been working is that loopy stuff, how to counter it. So I was very relieved when he was still throwing that. I heard you, you might have come into this with a little bit of a, a bum knee. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I uh, tore my MCL uh, weeks out. I mean, I, I think it's a lot better now, but it's not 100%. So luckily he didn't land that many inside leg kicks. Was there ever a thought about pulling out? No. It's leaving, man. <laughs> July, July 4th card, leaving. Um, actually, when I was 21 years old, it was my first time to come to Vegas. Uh, my dad took me and my brother out here, watched Anderson Silva fight when he fought Luter. I wasn't even in the sport yet, so it's a little surreal. Six years later, I'm on the undercard of an Anderson Silva fight. Yeah. And I would be remiss without asking, you know, a lot of stuff on Twitter, too, about the white boy with the cornrows. So do you want to defend <laughs> yourself on that? Because some people are giving you some grief for it. I don't need to defend myself. <laughs> they look good. Yeah. How long does that take? Uh, last night, about an hour. Oh, no, oh, one hour. I mean, they are always cornrowed. I've just got long hair, and it's the best fight hair there is when you got long hair. Yeah. I tried to ponytail in Australia. Nope, took me down, took my back, and it was done. Yeah. And then I looked like a you know, crazy person. I, and I, I'm not able to do the guida, you know. I don't, I don't like doing that. I've had to do that before. It's no good for fights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>